Welcome to the deep drive. Let's go ahead and dive straight into the ultimate budget truck, the third gen Ford Ranger. The Ford Ranger has quite a history. The first Ford to carry over the Ranger nameplate was a 1950 Ford panel delivery truck after it was converted to four wheel drive by the Mormon Harrington Company. Similar how Hennessy works by modifying factory cars. Yes, they did it back then too. Then the Ranger name was used as a trim on the Ford Edsel as the base model from 1958 to 1960, the Ford Edsel Ranger. Before the Ranger became an actual Ranger, Ford used the name as a styling package until 1981. With growing anticipation, in 1983, Ford finally came out with the compact pickup truck, the Ford Ranger, and well, the Mazda B-Series trucks as well. And the main difference between the two trucks was the badging due to the joint venture. Finally, the third gen Ranger started selling in 1998 and ended its production in 2012. The Ford Ranger has a few engine and transmission options throughout its entire life. From 1998 to 2001, the standard motor was a 2.5 liter N94, which is the same motor as the previous generation, but with a 7 millimeter increase in stroke and gave the motor 117 horsepower. The 3 liter Vulcan V6 was also carried over, yet on its way out with 145 horsepower and reaching its peak horsepower with 154 horsepower in 2003. And the 4.0 Halone V6 is the power plant for the Rangers lineup with 160 horsepower. In 2001, the 2.3 liter dual overhead cam engine replaced the 2.5 liter with 135 horsepower, then had a power increase in 2004 with 143 horsepower. The dual overhead cam 4.0 replaced the previous 4.0 V6, which gave it an impressive 207 horsepower, which is great in such a small truck. In 2008, the 3.0 vanished due to no other vehicle within Ford's lineup using that particular motor anymore. The Mazda 5-speed manual was a standard for all motors. 2001, the 4.0's manual was replaced with a heavier duty replacement. And both the 4-banger and the 3.0 liter V6 had an optional 4-speed auto. And in 2001, a 5-speed became an option for the rest of the generation until the third gen demise in 2012. The Ford Ranger is extremely versatile when it comes to motorsports. If you don't want the stock inline 4 or the V6, then throwing in the V8 is always an option. With kits available for an LS swap, a 3 or 2 swap, or even a 2 valve, 3 valve, or 4 valve swap from a Mustang. Drag racing these trucks are definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. And drift trucks are becoming more and more popular. Jim Jim actually built a pretty wicked Mazda series truck, which did require a lot of fab. However, worth the work nonetheless. Or you can set it up as a pre-runner, a mudding truck, a rock crawler, or even an adventure rig with a rooftop tent, which is my personal favorite. With every older vehicle, there are issues, and some issues more particular to certain vehicles. And yes, even the very reliable Ford Ranger. The camshaft synchronizer squeaks and may need to be lubricated or replaced. An easy job in my opinion. The shackles holding up the leaf springs can rust completely and cause the leaf springs to rest on the bed. So that's definitely an area to check if you're wanting to buy one. And there are a bit more issues to keep an eye on. And if you want to check that out, I have that video linked down below and at the end of the video. Depending which way you want it, the prices will vary. The four cylinder with low ish miles can be found under 3K, and this one in particular is selling for 2,300, which is a solid deal. Or you could buy a showroom Ranger for $60,000, which is a lot of money, and I would never pay that, but it's out there. Or you can get a well equipped four wheel drive Ranger with the 4.0 for $7,000. The four wheel drive models are actually quite a bit harder to find which is why you'll be paying a premium for one, and especially in today's market. There you have it, that's the third gen Ford Ranger. I personally love the truck. And if you want to learn more about the common issues, go ahead and check out this video. This is Chris at Automotive. I always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.